what's going on YouTube we are back at it again with another video um, I don't have anything to unbox today but uh, what I was gonna do in this video was just kind of um, show you like a little bit of this and a little bit of that of of what I've uh, what I hit so far since I started uh, um, you know collecting uh, football cards and everything um, out of retail or hobby so as you can see if you've seen some of my previous videos and sorry about that glare um we still on the hunt for a, a sim car for my new camera and then uh hopefully we can uh start doing some videos on my new camera here soon but uh here we have uh this lamar jackson um autograph uh out of elements 2018 elements uh i thought that was maybe probably like my best pull out of any card i've gotten so far um especially out of like this rookie class um this year so um and then next to that we have this sam darnold um this is a graded um sam darnold 2018 leaf rookie star card it is a 10 minute or better um Maybe I will say this is probably my second best um, card, only because it's graded, and it's a 10 mint or better. So, uh, you know, and I just started finding out about these. So, you know, I'm only maybe like, maybe close to a year, well, half of a year, I should say, of me. Um, no, I take that back. I think it's like a year and a half, because... I started collecting them right before my son was born. So, no, it's been about a year. Okay, so it's been about a year that I started collecting cards. But about half of a year of me actually, like, trying to record videos. Um, maybe not even half of a year. Maybe, like, four or five months. Something like that. Um, you can track back and look on my videos and you can see, like... How many months ago my first video was. But anyway. Um, these are two good cars that I've pulled so far. Um, so we're going to kind of just like move these to the side. I just kind of wanted to like broadcast those. You know starting the video out. And then we'll just go through some other cards. Um, that I have. So. I mean. And two kids just walked in. What are you trying to get? No, no, I don't need you walking all through the video. Come on. What are you trying to get? Alright, hurry up and get something so go. Bryce, come on. You have to pick him up first. Sorry about this, guys. Pick him up and go put him down somewhere and then come back and get his toy. Because you're not going to be able to carry both probably. Can you grab it? What, the toy? Yeah. Just pick it up. If you can't do it, then just come back and get it. Alright, thank you. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Um, so, this here is another card. And, like I said, you, you've seen some of these in the videos, if you've seen them. If this is your first time. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the video, and share it with your friends, and, uh, you know, tell them about my channel. Uh, but, uh, these are some, um, of the autos that you probably already seen in previous videos, but this is an Edo Smith card, a uh, rookie card for the Falcons. Um, and this was also out of Elements, and it was number 72 out of 199. Thought that was another good auto. Only thing I don't like about this car is his number. That's that's not his number in real life. Um, I want to say his number is like thirty something, but it's not double zero. So uh, you can only assume that this picture was taken like way way before the season even started. Maybe like during training camp or something. Uh, I'm not sure. So there is another one. Um, it's not an auto. But this was another card that I got out of uh, Elements. It was a J uh, J Ma Moore, uh, 
patch car. It's a thick patch. Um, at least it wasn't like his his crazy auto that he does, but um, I wasn't too mad about the, the patch there. And that was number 74 out of 99. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, that was player war material. Would have been better if it was game used, but <clears throat> um, <clears throat> so my girlfriend um bought me that elements box for Christmas um, and she also bought like one single pack of elements. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, of Elite, and uh, she, uh, I was able to pull this out of it a number card for Dion King uh, for my coats. It was numbered out of six ninety nine. I thought that was pretty cool. I got to hit a coat out of a single pack. You know, it's not an auto or nothing, but um, nice, nice card, you know, for the PC. Uh, this was also pulled out of Elements. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I am a fan of Breath of, uh, you know, when he was playing. This was uh, number three out of 50. So, uh, nice low number card and it's metal that's another thing i like about these cars they're metal so can't really mess them up um easily but thought that was a good card next we have oh okay cool so this is actually the first very first autograph that i pulled ever um out of retail or hobby um, this was actually pulled out of a hobby box of 2017 Unparalleled last year. And I'm kind of glad I kept it because he had a, gr a good season this year. And um, that was also number 299. So, you know, I, I don't know if I want to keep it, you know, just to say, like, this is my first auto or I might try to flip it. I'm not sure. So if you guys uh, out there are watching this video, if you're a Bears fan and you're a big Terry Cohen fan, um, Hit me up and uh, maybe we could work something out. Uh, next. So I have pulled some baseball cards before. Um, this is a J.D. Davis autograph for the Houston Astros. Um, I think I got this out of like a loose pack. It wasn't like out of a full box or nothing, but um, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I'm a Braves fan myself, but... Uh, to get that, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. So, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, this was also out of a loose pack. Um, a Luis Escobar autograph out of Bowman Chrome. It was a loose pack. This is his first Bowman um, autograph card. And I don't think that one was numbered, but um, another decent auto. Uh, here we have uh, what I like to call J. Mom Moore's maybe like twin autograph brother. Like both of their autographs are like the worst. Like it looks like a two and a small seven. Where I guess he was trying to go for like some type of J and a A. But it, it uh, I really don't care too much about it. But I mean an auto is an auto so... Uh, next we have this James Washington, um, RPA. I pulled this out of Unparalleled from this year. Um, this was actually out of a full box that I bought. Um, and I'm kind of hoping he emerges into maybe like a solid, as of right now, number three receiver for the Steelers, or maybe even like a solid number two if they get rid of Antonio Brown. But I'm going to hang on to this and uh, kind of see what he blossoms to into his uh, sophomore season. <clears throat> um, I'm going to try to wrap this up a little bit. Uh, so this is out of playoff. I put this out of a retail playoff box. Christopher Herndon uh, from the Jets, rookie tight end. Um, it wasn't numbered. Uh, he actually started catching on towards the end of the season, so he might turn into a nice, solid, uh, decent tight end for the Jets there um, next year. Hopefully him and uh, Sam Darnold can uh, build some type of connection there. Uh, this right here was out of a retail absolute box, uh, a rookie dual mem card for Darius Geis. 
This dude was on his way to having a phenomenal season until he tore his ACL against the Patriots. So I'm kind of praying and hoping that he uh, comes back strong next year and uh, and has a bounce back season. Maybe get like a player uh, comeback player of the year type um, season for him. So that would be nice. Uh, next we have... It's a scrub auto, but another one of my autos that I pulled. I pulled this out of Elite from last year, I believe. And that was numbered to two ninety nine. Yeah, there you go. Uh Chad Kelly. And he actually got into some trouble. Um <clears throat> I wanna say like maybe a month or two ago. And uh well, we know that's not gonna be worth nothing, but I, I don't know what's up with that guy there so if you haven't heard about it uh you can always like google it or something and see what happened uh this was just pulled recently uh maybe like a month or two ago i pulled this out of a uh, prism a uh, retail prism box traquan smith and at the time he was just starting to catch on but then he slowed down after that but uh i mean it's the saints it's drew Brees doesn't look like he's going to retire anytime soon right now so Hopefully he can turn into um, maybe like a solid number three receiver, maybe um, maybe next year and uh, maybe up his value a little bit. So we'll see what happens with that. Next we have oh I pulled this one out of unparalleled this year uh, Dallas Goddard um, Dallas Goddard. Uh, I say he's a decent tight end. Um, he's not Zach Ertz, but uh, he was, you know, he, he did his thing here and there. He had a couple games where he, where he shined, and then there was other games where he didn't pretty much do anything. But um, another decent auto um, that I pull here. <clears throat> and you'll notice that my collection isn't like super big, but you know I have enough. Uh, for now, uh, maybe I'll do like another video. Maybe call that like a part two. So. It won't be like a second part to this video. I mean, it won't be like the video just cut out, but I'll make another one saying this is like part two of all my hits that I got or something like that. Um, this is a Armani Watts that I pulled out of Panini Prism. Don't know too much about him, but uh, with Pat Mahomes uh, leading that Kansas City Chiefs offense, maybe he'll turn into something next year. Uh, I pulled this out of Unparalleled from last year, 2017, Charles Harris. Um, I've seen like some footage of him, and this was number one out of 149, by the way. Um, but uh, I've seen like some footage of him. He seems okay, but uh, not enough for me to really blab about him. Uh, same thing with this guy here, Demarcus Walker for the Broncos. I don't even know if he was in the rotation this year or not, but I got this out of Optic. Uh, last year and uh, I think this was retail as well but uh, not enough to blab about though uh, a couple more players that's I don't know too much enough to blab about but this was another one I got out of Panini Contenders retail last year uh, Elijah Hood um, here's another one Bryce Bobo I don't even know if he's in the league or not I haven't heard his name at all but I pulled this out of Panini Contenders 2018. <clears throat> so this came out like early in the year last year, like before the season ended. And that was retail as well. Same as this one was retail. I got this out of that same box with the Bryce Bobo. Because you get two hits. And this one was, uh, I don't even know how to say this guy's name. It's like Godwin, a uh, Godwin Igwabukwe or something like that. I don't know. I haven't heard his name either. I don't know where he's playing at. I'll have to look that up. Uh, a couple more and then uh, we'll wrap it up here. Three more. So, you guys know I like wrestling as well. My girlfriend actually picked up a... Uh, well, she chose... Like, she picked a box for me. Um, this is a retail box of... What was this product? Uh, I don't know. I forget which one exactly it was, but I Mickey James is one of my favorite uh, female um, wrestlers, and I thought that was pretty cool to pull that. And it was numbered also out of 199, so it's always good to get number cards out of retail, I think. 
Um, and these two autos, two coats, we got Dante Moncrief, who now plays for the Jaguars, and Burt Jones, uh, who played for the Colts back in, at this time, 1976. He was the NFL MVP. Uh, these were gifted to me by my buddy Zach. Um, he also has a channel, um, uh, Zeagle. And his like profile picture for his YouTube channel is a picture of uh, Felix Hernandez. So um, if you want, I could put his link in the description below and you guys can go check him out. And, um, oh, okay. And uh, these are, you know, he, he knows I'm a big Colts fan. So he tries to look out for me here and there if he gets some some autographs like this and uh, looks out for me and I'm actually uh, putting together a little care package for him as well for his Seahawks so I'm pretty sure he'll like some of those uh, cards that I sent him so um, so that's going to be it for this video guys uh, I know we're like 16 minutes in uh, I'll make another video um, here in the next couple of days it'll be kind of like a part two of like my hits that I've gotten since I started collecting but if you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, give it a give it a thumbs up, hit that like button, make sure you hit the the notification bell so you know when I'm, when you, so you so you're notified when I put up my videos, um, and also hit that subscribe button. Um, and if you guys have a channel and you want me to subscribe, I'm always down for, to looking at um, new content and new uh, subscribe, you know, new uh, channels on YouTube, especially when it comes to this uh, community now. So. I really love loving doing this. So, if, um, so uh, that's what we have for now, and uh, we'll we'll uh, pick it up with a second part later, and um, we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.